Hi, I'm Will, and this is the Venture to Rome YouTube channel. My best buddy Chris and I are going to show you how to install the RCI Universal Bed Rack. We installed this on a Chevy Colorado, and since we've installed this rack, it's been put to the test both by carrying things all over the West on camping trips and holding up to some pretty significant overlanding trails. Please consider checking out our channel and subscribing if you like the content. Okay, enough of that. Let's get started on the install. So we're going to be installing an RCI off-road bed rack um, on the Chevy Colorado. It was a little bit of a challenge finding a bed rack for the col this Colorado, especially because it's a long box. Um, but the thing that's really nice about this one is that it's actually universal. So if we ever sell the truck, we can take it off and we should be able to put it on um, any other truck that we get. So cool. Well, let's bust this thing out and throw it on the bed. Yeah. What's inside? What's inside? I want to know. I want to know. First, let's take a look at what comes in the box. In the first box, you'll see the six leg sections. These are the pieces that go on either side of the bed and they're what you'll attach the side panels to. They come with six bed clamps, one for each section to keep them tight and secure to the bed of the truck. Now let's take a look at the second box. Getting this box open was a little tricky, but nothing you can't handle. Inside, you'll find all of the pieces that connect the leg sections. These pieces consist of three cross members. These go across the bed and attach to the ends of the leg sections. Two side panels. These attach to either side of the leg sections and are what you can mount accessories to. They also make for decent air guitars before being installed. Or not. Three top braces. These attach to the top of the rack and give it added strength and stability. And we can't forget the massive amount of carriage bolts, washers, and nuts that come with it. The nice thing is everything fits together in a pretty straightforward way. Basically, you take the bolt, you know, you, you pop it through, you got your, your cross pieces, um, and then you have your washer, your lock washer, and your nut. And that's it and all the carriage bolts are the same size, so you don't have to search around for different sizes. Okay, let's put it on the truck. Step one, measure the truck bed, for good measure. It helps in getting things to fit easily when they go on the bed. Step two, using the measurements you just got from the bed of the truck and using the supplied carriage bolts, washers, and nuts, loosely attach the cross members to the legs. Step three, set the front and back sections of the rack on the truck, adjust them to fit, and then hand tighten the carriage bolts so they stay in place. Doing the ends first makes it easier to adjust everything when you attach the side panels, which will help everything space out evenly. Which is step four, attach one of the side panels. This sets the length of the rack perfectly and makes it really easy to attach that middle leg. Once you've got the side panel attached, start step five, which is placing the middle leg section on the bed and attaching it to the side panel. This basically sets the position of the rack. Once that's complete, simply proceed to step six, which is to attach the other side panel. Your rack is now roughly set in place, but resist the urge to tighten the carriage bolts. You might need things to flex a little bit as you move on to step seven, which is to attach the top braces. We needed to slightly tweak things a bit to get all the carriage bolts to line up to the holes, but it wasn't too bad. Now that everything is attached, start tightening the bed clamps. This will keep the rack from shifting while you tighten the rest of it. We hand tighten them first and then hit them with an impact driver just to make sure they were good and solid before we started tightening the rest of the rack. Step nine, once you have the bed clamps on tightly, the rest of the install consists of just tightening up all the carriage bolts that you've already hand tightened. There are a lot of bolts, so this takes a little bit of time, but it's not hard, and it's worth the time to make sure your rack is solid. Step 10, the fun part. Now you can attach the accessories to your side panels. We chose quick fist mounts for a shovel on one side and a simple bolt mount for traction boards on the other side. They look awesome and now your accessories are very very accessible well uh hopefully this was helpful for you um hopefully you have a, an idea of what it's like to install this bed rack on this on this truck um if you want to see more videos from us just click on the video that's right now on the screen and thanks for watching we'll see you next time i just broke a truck hmm?